you know, it's not just France. They have, listen to Greg's report. They have a no-go zone. Police are not allowed. Non-Muslims aren't allowed. That to yeah. me is, why would France or any other country allow Muslims that have come into the country to basically take over portions of the country? That, that is madness to me. Yeah, it isn't just France. It's happening right across Europe. Um, we've got no-go zones in most of the big French cities. Uh, we've been turning a blind eye to preachers of hate that have been coming here from the Middle East um, and saying things for which the rest of us would be arrested. Um, in parts of northern England, uh, we've seen the sexual grooming scandal of underage girls uh, committed uh, by Muslim men in the majority. And for all of these things, we're seeing the law not being applied equally. We're seeing the police forces not actually doing their job uh, because we've suffered from moral cowardice. We have, through mass immigration, and through not checking, you know, the details of those people that have come to our countries, uh, we have uh, allowed big ghettos to develop. And when it comes to confronting tough issues, we run a mile. That is why we're in the mess that we're in. We've been led very badly. All right.
already stay here seven days. My friend is 20 days stay here. No foods, no water, no others. No water. This is a dangerous situation. to work and it's impossible to have people staying in here for 20 days and to 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 provide uh, any assistance so we are you know reaching at a point that we cannot move, we cannot give any more help because it's too much Stockholm förort, Husby. Folk har kastat molotov cocktails på bilar. Tre stycken bilar står ibland än så länge. Polisen springer, polisen springer! authorities have their hands full in the southern city of Malmo with an explosion of Muslim immigrants. 90% of them unemployed, many angry, taking it out on the country that took them in. If we park our car, that will be damaged. So we have to go very often two vehicles, one just to protect the other vehicle inside. Fear of violence has changed the way police, firemen and emergency workers do their jobs. There are some neighborhoods these Swedish ambulance drivers do not go into without a police escort. They've come under threat from angry crowds who tell them which patients to take, which patients to leave behind. The most liberal asylum laws in Europe mean a city of one quarter million is now one quarter Muslim, changing the face and the idea of what it means to be Swedish. Asylum seekers may bring spouses, brothers, grandparents. Civil servants say the city is swamped. So you have a thousand pupils in a Swedish school? Yeah. How many are Swedes? Two. Students arrive at age 10 or 12 from Iraq, Iran, Lebanon with no knowledge of Swedish. Some have never been to school at all. Special classes require interpreters. Even then, more than half won't graduate. They are not a part of the Swedish society, so to speak, it's difficult for them to get into the society. And yet they are the most rapidly growing segment of Swedish society, outsiders who are already inside, posing a challenge to legendary Swedish tolerance. Tolerance that has been stretched to the breaking point. The city's main mosque was recently set ablaze by arsonists. When firefighters arrived on the scene to rescue the building, they were attacked by stone throwers. In Malmo, Steve Harrigan, Fox News. Arguing that some British streets have become off-limits to non-Muslims may be a view associated with the far right. But when a Pakistani-born Anglican bishop publicly agrees, it reopens the debate. Writing in the Sunday Telegraph, Michael Nazir Ali says the effect of multiculturalism has been to turn already separate communities into no-go areas. And those of a different faith or race may find it difficult to live or work there because of hostility to them. This uh, article is uh, unnecessarily uh, alarming and might be considered by some people as uh, inciting hatred against religion. The bishop was abroad today, but a colleague in his Rochester diocese echoed his comments.
our history is based on our Christian uh, understanding of the world, um, that we've built a country on this basis, but in the past uh, decade or so we seem to have lost it. We've uh, emphasised multiculturalism to the point of losing our own roots. In Oxford, the city of dreaming spires is also adapting to the new cultural landscape. Hello. The local mosque wants to broadcast the call to prayer over loudspeakers, another feature of multi-faith Britain which the bishop objects to. Muslims here say it's no different to the sound of bells welcoming churchgoers. Bishop should be a very broad-minded person. He's a religious man. He should give good consideration to the other religion as well. When the, the bell rings in the morning time, around about 8 o'clock, at half past 7, the people are still sleeping. Don't the bishop think they are disturbed? Different religions living side by side may result in occasional cultural friction. The alternative would be the creation of single faith ghettos, which so many people fear or oppose. On the question of Islamification, I think we have to do a bit more, probably starting in our schools, to actually teach people of the values of our Judeo-Christian culture, the good that it's done and all that it's represented over centuries. Because I'm getting a bit tired of my kids coming home from school being taught about every other religion in the world, celebrating every other religious holiday, uh, but not actually being taught about Christianity. Maybe sacking the Archbishop of Canterbury and getting somebody decent would be good. So, so... so I... There are over 20 police forces now in this country that turn a complete blind eye to the operation of Sharia courts and Sharia law. If you're not prepared as a nation from the top down to stand up for your cultures and your values, then those cultures and values will be threatened. And it's one of the ways in which I just have this huge admiration for what the Aussies have done over the last 20 years. I really do. I really do. They, 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 you know, they want people to go and live in Australia who will accept their customs, accept their culture, bring value to their country, and I agree with that. And if you listen to what John Howard and other PMs have said over the last 10 years, in the case of Islam, he said to them, you're welcome. You're welcome to come here and, and to have your children here and to bring them up as Australians. But if you're coming to take us over, you're not welcome. We need a little bit more backbone, do we not, in our church, in our police force, in our parliament. People supporting an anti-Islam group based in Germany have held a rally in Britain. Opponents of its aims held a bigger demonstration nearby. About 370 people on Saturday took part in the first rally Pegida has held in Britain. It took place in the northern English city of Newcastle. The anti-Islam group staged several demonstrations across Europe following the attack in January on French satirical newspaper Charlie Hebdo. Pegida members want to restrict immigration by Muslims. About 3 million people belonging to the religion live in Britain. We're wanting people to integrate when they come into this country. And that's just not happening. But the rally prompted some 2,000 people to demonstrate against Pegida. I'm so proud that I live in Newcastle and I'm part of this community. Some members of the two opposing groups scuffled with each other.
Art student Satish Gujral helped organize the transportation of refugees. In Amritsar, he saw the hatred partition had brought. A Muslim girl school nearby had been raided, and all these girls had been brought out, stripped, then taken in procession to this, this location, where they were being systematically raped. I have recalled in my life story that when watching it, I looked at the face of those others who were attending it in search of compassion. I found none. Former Interior Minister Nicholas Sarkozy built his political career on being tough on crime. He pushed for harsher sentencing for minor crimes such as theft, assault, and being in France illegally, which researchers estimate now accounts for two-thirds of those in short-term jails. The criminality here in France, um, which is not so high, but um, the answer that the government wants to, to give, is, it's about... Um, imprisonment and coercion and uh, and um, I've been I mean being tougher in crime this is this is the uh, language another feature of the French penal system is the widely accepted estimate that Muslims compose 70 percent of the inmates despite composing just five to ten percent of the general population but addressing the poverty and discrimination French Muslims regularly face, which may help explain such a high incarceration rate, requires time, money, and a political courage that many analysts say just isn't present. Many of the prison conditions here are closer to a banana republic than a first world country, leading many to say that doing hard time in France is much harder than it should be. I mean, look at this guy. I love him. This material is classified as a satire to expose stupidity and corruption in contemporary politics under Title 17, Section 107 of United States Copyright Law. We want to tell you last Saturday we showed a map of neighborhoods in France labeled as no-go zones. Some of the neighborhoods were highlighted incorrectly. We apologize for the error. I was a box employee for three years. I worked in the uh, news. On air or behind the camera? I'd rather not answer that. I, I think I'd rather keep myself anonymous. You'll disguise my voice. Yeah, I've heard directly from folks, uh, both as correspondents and as bookers, who've expressed very great reservations, uh, almost uh, as if they're being monitored by a Stalinist system, uh, afraid to be seen talking to the wrong person or uh, having the wrong kind of email exchange. You're either one of us or one of them. And in leaving Fox News, for example, uh, there were a number of people at the organization, the head of the organization, tried to ruin my career simply because I was leaving, because I didn't leave on their terms, because I refused to sign a confidentiality agreement. That was another reason for them to try to keep me from getting my next job. very much uh, an environment of fear. It was made very clear to us that our activities were being monitored and if someone wasn't watching it live they were at least recording it and they would review it after the fact to see what we did. We weren't necessarily, as it was told to us, a news gathering organization so much as we were a proponent of a point of view. Fox has already been successful in sort of branding me as somebody who can't be trusted and as a result um, I'm already sort of on thin ice regarding my current employer. I'd been warned by people. Um, there were a number of people who pulled me inside and said, look, you know, I don't know. I mean, I know that you want to work and I know that you need a job, but you might want to think twice about taking this job because really it is a very conservative news network. 
now that I've learned comedy writing at Fox News Channel, I guess I should be doing stand-up in the clubs. I think that if you don't go along with the mindset of the hierarchy in New York, if you challenge them on their attitudes about things, your history. Hello everyone, it's Act 17 Apologetics again here at Dearborn, Michigan. We've been going through the various booths, getting the information that's found at tables. And here's one that I found extremely interesting. It's called Un Uprooting the Forces of Evil, Islam's War on Terrorism. Now, now we go if it was written truthfully, we should be able to clarify these things by talking to the people at the booth. How about we give it a shot? Let's see what the people at the booth have to say about this pamphlet. Okay. Now read the first question to me. Read the first question. Well, you read, read the first question. No. Hold on a second. I'm worried about her. If they're telling you to stop taping, stop taping. She can tape it. Stop taping. Oh. If you don't stop the question, stop taping. That's what we're We've been given a pamphlet by those people. They asked me to read it and come back to them. They knew we had a camera when they told us this. Can we go there and ask them a question? They even said we can record it. We talked to the police earlier, not you guys. We talked to police in uniforms. They said there's no right for anyone to stop us from recording. Uh, we're going to agitate Okay, yeah. Okay, we're just I think they're just making sure there's no problem. You're going to have a dialogue. Yeah, that's just yeah, making sure there's a booth that says okay. got questions. We guys, all I'm going to do is ask them questions about them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. As long as you guys are having a dialogue and not an argument where you're getting a group of people that, that are looking for trouble. You understand Good. what we're So if they group up and they're talking and you're talking, there's no problem. Fine. What if they get angry and we don't? Then we'll walk out. We'll walk, we'll walk out. away. Okay. Come get us. Okay. Well, that's where we're going to keep everyone going. All right, cool. Okay. So, who am I asking? Okay. Before we talk, turn the camera off. Do you hear okay. that? I don't want to see the camera. Turn it off. 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 Don't worry about the camera. Keith, don't worry about the camera. If you want to Okay, don't worry about the camera. The last time. We're just saying if you want to answer the question. Oh, no. This is the lady who assaulted my friend. She grabbed the front of the camera and pulled it down. And she just went on, she got on her walkie-talkie and said we're harassing her. distract him.
Just stop. You know where you stop? Don't videotape. Me. Don't videotape. Me. You know where designated areas are supposed to be, so let's go. Designated for what? We already, we already okay, talked to the Don't videotape. Video that's it. For we already talked to the Okay, police. don't videotape. We already talked to the Okay, don't videotape. Okay, don't videotape. Okay, don't videotape. Okay, don't Okay, don't videotape. Don't worry, I'm following you. Okay, don't videotape. Your area is supposed to be enticing. Okay, don't videotape. Don't videotape. Move on. There is a table there that says you got questions, we got answers. Is that your table? We don't have a table. We don't have any table. Okay, don't videotape. That's it. We have no table at all. Hey, 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 you can touch my yeah. camera. This is America. I don't care. You cannot touch my camera. No, no, no. I'm just standing here watching. I'm just telling you, do not touch her. You cannot touch my camera or me. That is assault in America. You need to back away. Don't take pictures. No, I am allowed to take a picture for my own use. I don't give a no, I was standing picture. here. Hey, hey, hey! We don't want you don't touch me, that's assault! That's assault! Get your camera on my camera. Get your camera on my camera. All of it. Give us. I'm going to say one more time. Stop holding This is security assaulting David Wood on camera. Three times that gentleman right there. Could you, you will guys, you share your name? The will you share your name? You need the permission to be just me. You know that. David, no, nobody's just on camera. You saw that. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Come on. Put it away. Put it away. Don't take picture. Don't take picture. Hey, hey, don't take picture. Hey, 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 security. Security. Don't take picture. Where's the real cops? Where's the real cops? This is the United States of America. No way! Don't take pictures. Where's the real cops? Where's the real cops? Look at this. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking, or I'll make you keep walking. Trust me, I will. Keep walking. Shake it too much. Keep walking. Don't get your You need permission from me. Go touch up. This Nobody is the United States of America. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. This is the United States of America. No way. Keep walking. This Nobody is what happens. This is what happens. Okay, keep walking. I'm a free citizen who's come here okay, to record a question. And these guys have been smacking the camera, okay, have been assaulting walking. us. I never touched the camera. Let's Welcome go. to Sharia in the United States. Sharia. Look at this, look at this. This is YouTube this material is right here. This is YouTube, right? And it's going to court. Make sure All of it. Right All of it. We're taking care of right now. Hey, make sure you guys keep on sight on them. Hey, David, this way. This, way, this, this man just man, tried to trip me. This man just tried to trip me. These two guys right here will be taken care of right now. Hey, make sure you guys keep on side on that. Okay. Hey, David, hey, hey. this way. This way, this way, this way. Just man, tried to trip me. Trying. There we go. Officer, 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 officer. Officer, officer. Yes, we will film. We will film. Stop. We're just trying to leave. All we're trying to do is leave. Okay. Hey, those these two guys have to leave right now. These two. We have to leave the premises. We have everything on camera that happened. We have okay, good. Okay, good. So you know everything that happened right here. And we want to leave. And these gentlemen have been trying to trip us. They've been hitting. No, we haven't. We're lying. We have not. No, I have it. No, you're lying.
inside us he's the one that's inside it oh now hey tell him that he needs to listen he's got two ears and one mouth two ears I love Jacob hated Esau that's right what are you talking about speak for yourself man God loved Jacob but hated Esau. And Esau is the Muslim beginning right there. Did you know that? They think Esau was Jacob, but Jacob was Esau. There's no such thing as Allah was the moon god. Did you know that? They don't even know the name of their god. What's your god's name? What's your god's name? Oh, that's all he has to say. I'm not going to talk. If all he does is say one word, one word over and over. If I can have a conversation with you, then why even talk to you? Matthew 15, this guy, all he does 24, is flap his lips. 15, flap, flap, flap. Look at this. 15, Here it is. How can you talk to a guy say? like this? How can you talk to a guy like this? To save Look at all sheep of God, the children of Israel. Verse 15. Verse 24. You're infidel. I know the Bible better than you. And really? Do you know me? He just, see how arrogant. He says he knows the Bible better than me, and I haven't even met this man. This man is arrogant and self-righteous full of hatred, without a knowledge of the truth, without hope. I have no idea what he's doing here. What are you trying to do for us? What are you trying to do for us? What's your message? My message is, if you don't accept Islam, you are going to hell. Okay, he says, if we don't accept Islam, we're going to hell. So everybody out here is going to hell? Is everybody out here going to hell? Is everybody out here going to hell? If they don't accept Islam and they die, yes, if you Okay, we all agree. I agree, because you don't accept Jesus Christ, your Lord, going to hell. He says, if you don't take uh, except Ali, you're going to hell. There you go. See that? There you go. There you go. God raises up vessel of destruction, and here is one right here. Look at that. Jesus was born of a virgin, you filthy pig. Oh, poor filthy pig. God does not come with a vagina. God is most high. God is most high. He does not walk. God does not use the restroom. God does not sleep. God does not eat. Your God doesn't, because his God does not exist. That's right. That's right. He says, he just said, why his God does not exist. What kind of God used the restroom? What kind of God eats? Jesus was a Muslim. What kind of prophet has sex with a nine-year-old girl? That's right. Look at that. He's not holy. There you go. Hey. Jesus is a Muslim. He didn't get crucified. Y'all going to hell. Y'all worship a prophet. Jesus worshiped Allah. Y'all worship the Bible. That's in the Bible. Y'all going to hell. Y'all worship a prophet. Jesus worshiped Allah. That's in the Bible. That's in the Old Testament. That's in the Jewish Testament. Jesus did not worship Allah. No, he didn't. He did not worship Allah. Now, go have yourself a, a bacon sandwich. Go ahead, get a BLT, have some vegetables with that, it's healthier. Infidel, you're going to hell, all of you. Shame on you. Oh, a pedophile. Pedophile, you motherfucker. Oh, there's a war. You have sex with a nine-year-old girl. There you go. He can't even say anything against it because he knows it's true. Hey, hey, leave him alone, man. Hey, leave him alone. And also, just so you know, we're peaceful men, but we're not pacifists. And if this uh, Muslim dude keeps 
pushing on my friend over here. We're going to have to need you to come over here and take care of him. There you go. He can't even say anything against it because he knows it's true. That's him. Hey, hey, leave him alone, huh? Hey, leave him alone. He was a friend of the world. He's just so you know it. The peaceful man of one of us. That's him, son. Pushing on my friend over here, we're gonna have to need you to come over here and take care of him. Just tell you now. Just tell you now. End of story. There you go. Hey, you got it. You got it. You got it. Hey, officer. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Let's go. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. We have been out here for an hour and a half peacefully. We've been out here for an hour and a half and have had not one conflict until now. Police asked him to leave. Hey, officer, this guy's bloody, man. Get your shoes and get No, he's not leaving. Hey, look, okay, get some video. What's your badge on the side? He broke my cap. He broke his cap. You're going to let him go? You're going to let him go? He just headbutted this guy. He headbutted. I got on video, man. You're going to let this guy go. I've got it on video. We actually called the officer before it all happened. The guy went and calm. I said, look, he's getting violent. Then he headbutted my friend. We got it on video right there. And I think he busted his tongue or his lip or something. He needs some medical attention. I was just No, he headbutted me. Are you calling some, for some medical attention? Call? Can you call for medical attention? Calling? No, I'm asking you, okay, officer. What do you think I'm doing? Well, I'm asking you a question. You should have seen that hit, man. That's why I grabbed the guy. I did. I did. I did. I was too far away. What's that? I was too far away. And when you grabbed him, I moved away. I go to hell, and he's evil, and they insulted me, and they cursed, and his body tried to push me. He put his hands on me. I this is what happened. Self defense under the rule of Allah. Self defense. Self defense. Go ahead. What's your problem? You think you can headbutt me and I can't film you? You just came out here Go. for violence. That's all You're you wanted. Up next. Hey. That's all you want. How much do you weigh? Can I call her?
They have eyewitnesses and on video. Sir, I was two feet away. I was two feet away. I saw the whole thing. I saw the whole thing. I cannot stop what I'm doing of directing traffic to deal with your nonsense. My nonsense. Look at the yes. my face. That's nonsense. That's called bad. You couldn't stop. Okay. I asked you politely to stop. You wouldn't stop. Absolutely. Stop what? You asked him to leave. I don't know what this, came over here. To what, start is this, what is this? B L B O seven. What is that? Okay, I'm gonna get you. Over here. There you go. <laughs> they don't want to let me do the prayer. That's how you're going to be on judgment day. You're not going to be able to pray on judgment day either. For what? For battery. I just told I didn't you that. He battered me. They have video. Yeah, I know. And I was there. He said he's arresting me for battery. Okay. You can either sign this or you can go to jail. Uh, an admission of battery? No. Admission of receipt of the citation. What should I do? Right. Sign well, you can be your lawyer all you want, so I don't care. Can you believe that? That's amazing. Yes. See, you tried to bite his head, I guess. Yeah, and you bit through your lip. That's Tampa Tampa police at their finest. I walked away from him three times. It's on video. What is wrong with you? Right here. You're getting a break because you're not local. A break? We don't recall people who are not local. Let's recall them. Let's go. That is amazing. He broke the law. Hey, I hey, break the law. Quiet. That's fine. I tell you, this is ridiculous. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. these you guys. guys took are took an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States. You proved. You took that oath and you're breaking it. I'm not breaking it. Because you. I'm not breaking it, sir. Because you're not defending my right to exercise free speech. You're saying I made something happen. That's right. Hey, tomorrow on YouTube, when we see that we yelled for him to come and stop the guy from attacking you, that's all right. Don't worry about it. I mean, he, right now. I exercise my free speech. That's what you're supposed to defend. Not criminal behavior. Oh, you see, he said you're not supposed to incite. It's not inciting. Religious intolerance? Yes, indeed. You know, you're. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. That's a problem with. Yeah, May 2nd of this year at 1.30 in the afternoon, quarter number 23, 801 East Street Street. Be here or be square. And if not, there will be a warrant issued for your arrest. We'll go, don't worry about it. We'll go to the state attorney with the video and this guy will be a joke. We'll be a YouTube star tomorrow. So Have a great day. Be all over the news. Is that exactly what you want? What's that? Yeah, you're going to be a YouTube star tomorrow. Sir, your ignorance knows no boundaries. That's right. I guess it does not haven't raised to your level, I guess. You have not come close. <laughs> You're right. You're absolutely right. He just said I haven't come close to his level of ignorance. It's great.